G'day Traders Mindset Reset, it's uh, Eclipse Monday. Today we had uh, some opportunities in the US session, a couple of set opportunities in the earlier sessions. I wanna talk uh, briefly today, yesterday I put the uh, blueprint video out and I wanna emphasize a couple things. I got some questions from traders and questions regarding uh, trades they took in the US session today. And I wanna talk about uh, understanding the types of setups versus uh, trades, trend trades, reversal trades, whatever that may be, but having specific setups. So as I've mentioned, uh, my friend Steven in New Jersey, he likes to trade reversals after they break out. Uh, that's his specialty. Uh, I like to short stuff and pump and dump. And as one trader said today on the oil tr or the uh, uh, gold trade, uh, looks great after the fact, but here's the thing. It's 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 a setup lower low Into closing price and high of day level New York open for the dump. It's a simple setup. That's it. It's a trading setup That's a setup as I as I've mentioned before There's only two types of setups a dump and a pump or a pump and a dump now oil gave a great Dump the pump started at 9 a.m. The oil open market went vertical above Closing price, it was already in breakout. So emphasizing understanding what happens when markets are actually distended out, starting in the Asian session. Uh, those, those provide traders with significant opportunities, especially when it's at the beginning of a week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, opening range, initial balance. Timings, levels, behavior of price. So as I mentioned, train your brain to move horizontally at the levels because that's what allows you to follow price and the timing window to understand number one if you have a pump and a dump template the pin hammer was at just after new york open on oil we had the large engulfment the half batman style of three levels of rise engulfment at closing price and that dropped down into the higher level longs so the market is broken out in asia reversed and continue to push back up 9 a.m. starts the pump up above closing price and then the dump a nail and bail today may be a funny day the indexes were all inside except for the Russell 2k it broke out right at the open hive day into last Wednesday's closing price uh, hive day level that Thursday broke down from before dropping back down to closing price pump and dump the other indexes haven't broken out so again in terms of identifying a best trade candidate, ones that have broken out. Now, if it's a day three and we've got our opening range initial balance and a coil sideways coming off a level, that's a parabolic setup. That's different than a market uh, just being inside and trying to trade the highs and lows. Again, just targeting instruments that might be higher probability candidates for those setups. And then as the week evolves, we get the larger templates for the larger pump and dump opportunities, day one, day two, day three, whether it's a three day setup or a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day one, day two, day three, template setup, opening range into the midpoint range of the week, midpoint range into the closing range of the week. Signal days, inside days, first red days, first green days, and then opportunities in the session that you're trading, having that basket that reflects whether it's Asia, London, or the New York session. So. A uh, funny day today, uh, dangerous on certain markets, nail and bail, take the money, get on with your day. Keep it simple, start the week off strong, stick to the basics and the highest probability setup. So again, you know, understanding which trades are going to be scalable and driven by other time frame traders versus taking a trade to get a move or to catch a pip. Again, it, whatever's working for you, but the ones that can be scaled into are going to build up over the three-day templates. Great job, traders. Have a great day, and may the markets go with you.